The Leshnar Estuary, also known as Durbel Elap by the local Nenga people, is a lagoonal system about two hours' drive south of Perth. It's just north of the town of Bunbury. Seagrasses are flowering aquatic plants that evolve from land plants and then return to the sea. So they're actually more closely related to land plants than they are to seaweed. The Leshnar Estuary is home to three species of seagrass. They play an important role in maintaining the health of the system and the animals that depend on it. Seagrass is the main food source of the iconic West Australian bird, the black swan, and it provides habitat for fish, crabs, shellfish and the tiny insect-like animals that they feed on. Seagrasses also protect our shorelines, stabilise sediment and improve water quality. Our team have been monitoring seagrass condition here in the Leshnal Estuary for the last five years in a row now. I love this system. It's one of my favourite estuaries in Western Australia. Unfortunately, seagrass here, like that much elsewhere in the world, has faced significant decline. For seagrasses to thrive, it needs good water and sediment quality, with over half the land draining to the estuary cleared for agriculture and an urban area fringing the estuary there has been increased pressure on this water body in the last two decades. We monitor seagrass at several different scales to be able to understand its abundance and health. The first is a series of approximately 180 relatively quick observations using an underwater camera. This gives us an idea of how dense the seagrass is growing and what species are present across the entire estuary. The second way we monitor seagrass is through detailed assessments at three sites in the estuary. Here we collect samples of seagrass so we can understand whether the plants are successfully reproducing and how fast they are growing. It's these fine scale measurements that give us our first indication that a system is in recovery mode and provide clues about its resilience. In 2009, we estimated that seagrass covered 73% of the estuary area and was in good condition. However, in 2015, we saw a dramatic decline in the condition and the distribution of seagrass the area shrunk to just 39%. We were concerned that we may reach a tipping point that could see a complete loss of seagrass in the Leshnot Estuary, which would make its recovery in the area extremely difficult and unlikely. Thankfully, this didn't happen, and in 2018, seagrass cover had increased slightly to 43%, with signs of improved condition. We plan to continue to monitor seagrass in the Leshnot Estuary in the coming year, and we're hopeful that we'll continue to see the recovery of the seagrass. The Regional Estuaries Initiative is an important link towards improving water quality, seagrass distribution and overall estuary health. 